we will take the last question Muhammad Bilal he says I am a veterinarian from Faisalabad Pakistan if Allah knows which sin I will be committing in the future why does he not stop me Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the glorious Quran Surah Mulk chapter number 67 verse number 2 الَّذِي خَلَقَ الْمَوْتَ وَالْحَيَاةَ It is Allah who has created death and life to test which of you are good in deeds. So this life, it is a test for the hereafter. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He does know what sins you are going to commit in the future. So why does He not stop you? This life it is a test for the hereafter. And we human beings, we have been given a free will. We human beings, we are a unique creation. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala already created the angels who do not have a free will. We human beings, we are a unique creation. And I would like to give you a simple example. During an examination, while the students they are appearing for the examination, the teacher passes by one of the students. And the teacher notices that the student has written the answer for question number one wrong if the teacher wants she can correct the student during the examination that the answer to question number one it is wrong and correct the answer the correct answer is so and so the teacher can do that but it will be unjust upon the other students the other students they will think why did I toil why did I put in so much efforts if I knew that the teacher will help during the examination so even though the teacher knows the answer the teacher has to be just in this situation and should not help the student because it is an examination similarly this life it is a test for the hereafter even though allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows that we'll be committing sins allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he has given us a free will because this is a test and based upon our deeds we will either enter paradise or we will enter hellfire and even if a person he commits sins the door of repentance it is open even if a person commits sins he can very well ask repentance from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and inshallah allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he will forgive him and there are four criteria for repentance the first is that you should stop the act immediately the second is ask sincere repentance from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The third is that if you've taken something from someone and if you can return it, you should return it. For example, if you've robbed something, you should return it. And the fourth is that you should make a strong resolution that you will not return to the sin again. So you should follow these criteria of repentance. And if you ask sincere repentance from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he will forgive you.